all of the universities in Gaza have been destroyed. And I think it is our responsibility as students that have a privilege to still be here to use our voice. Second day of protests on the UC Santa Cruz campus. The encampment growing to over 30 tents now. Barricaded by fencing and sheet wood, covered in flags and signs. The group Students for Justice in Palestine say they won't go anywhere until their demands are met. We're calling for a divestment um, from any Israeli institution. And we're also calling for a permanent ceasefire and um, for humanitarian aid to enter Gaza as well. This is the growing encampment here at UC Santa Cruz. Tents lining this usually busy walkway located right next to the campus bookstore. And organizers here tell me that they chose this location because it's right in the center of campus and they want to ensure that their presence is felt. Supporters continue to bring in supplies and food as student security guards are keeping a perimeter around the area. Organizers say they plan to continue to exercise their right to free speech. One major thing that we did have to do was move the encampment back a little bit for um, fire purposes. We did uh, adhere to that, but Overall, admin have come up every day with new requests, and it's been a bit interesting to navigate. So far, the protest has remained peaceful, though some Jewish students on campus say they feel unsafe. I think that um, the encampment and the science, specific signs they have are making Jewish students feel unsafe because the movement itself is, in my opinion, rooted in anti-Semitism. Protest organizers disagreeing with that sentiment. Anti-Semitism is real, but it is not representative of our movements whatsoever. In a statement from the university, they state in part, quote, we are actively monitoring the situation to support a campus environment that supports our community's right to free expression, while also allowing our teaching and research mission to continue. And again, this demonstration has remained peaceful so far. We have not seen any police presence or arrests on campus yet. And we will continue to monitor this situation as it evolves because we have seen, as we've seen on other campuses, that things could get violent quickly. Reporting from UC Santa Cruz, I'm Brisa Colon, KSBW Action News 8. All right, Brisa.